And hello everybody, my name is here and welcome back to my let's play of Broken Sword Angel of Dead. Yeah, it was it. Angel of Dead, yeah. Yeah, we were at the factory and we have the that one. I still don't know why do we have them. Or why do we want to take them? Mm. And coal. Or what was this? Uh, this one. Fire plug and holding smoldering wood. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, George. Can we use this one in here now? The... Like... I can still see Spalacci and Fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I might be able to grab the manuscript. <laughs> the wood smoldering in the air vent. But only a mm. small amounts going into the room. I need to make more. I need to make more. Oh. Oh, this one. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. Really? Hmm. Hmm. That won't work here. More? Oh, do we need to go and get more? No, don't. Don't lava. Do we have to go and get the second one or? Run, George. Run. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't think the lights is doing anything for us there. Let's try this one first. And if it doesn't work, yeah, you cannot have it there. Oh, you can't do it again. What? Can we use that one on the breeze? No. I'm greased up already, so I don't need to touch it again. No. Something that I could do. Freeze to the. Uh, what is it called? The wood. <laughs> the noob. Mm. Let's try something. Come on, man. There we go. Come on, Josh. It's the air vent for Finger's office. Mm -hmm.
I can still see Spalacci and Fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I <laughs> might be able to grab the manuscript. Why isn't there anything for them? Hmm, that won't work here. Hmm. Using that won't work. Mm. Using that won't work. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Using that won't work. Hmm. Is there something that we have missed? Come on. No point messing around with the card reader until I have the card to use on it. Okay, okay, so we need a card in there. Hmm. Hmm. This one? Come on. Run, man. Let me use this one in there now to make more smoke. Come on. More smoke, George. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. That was the right thing. Ah, that smoke. Don't you just <laughs> love it? <laughs> the smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, huh? But hey! You could have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> what say we uh, all head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success? <laughs> sure. For God's sake, yes. <laughs> Bye. Tony, how's mm. it hanging, Tony? <laughs> you guys finish up now and head home, you hear? What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Okay. Ah, let him be. Hey, he ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. Hmm. Yeah? We still don't have them. Fingers and the rest of them came out of this room. Yeah? But how? Mm -hmm. The room's full of wooden boxes and there's only one exit. There is this one. Yeah, but we need part. No point messing around with the card reader until I have the card to use on it. Mm -hmm. That is gonna be our... Oh, that is open now.
Ooh. I'm not about to sit in that chair. And you take the Whoa. There's a pool of blood under the chair in the corner. Yeah. Hmm. We all know that <laughs> pigs don't sit on chairs. Yeah, nope. I don't even want to imagine what's been going on in here. There has been a killing. I'm not about to sit in that chair. Okay, so you can't take that. Don't tell me they are. No. I thought they were maybe burning the <laughs> guy in there, but yeah, we need uh, the key card. Let's see first. <laughs> I think there is a key card in here. Can we talk to the guy? Ask maybe. In here. Oh, he is gone too. Locked. Hmm? Very wise. You never know who's after your salami these days. <laughs> The display case is full of salamis. Mm -hmm. I never knew there were so many different types. I mean, once you've made <laughs> one, why keep inventing more? No, I didn't. Yeah. I was hoping there might be something in there. Okay, so we need to find a key card. Where is it? So we go locked. Very wise. So go your salami these oh, days. stops in here. Hmm. We can't do anything with R. So let's keep what has to be inside. Come on. Come on, Josh. Josh. Thank you. There has to be something inside there. We are missing. Oh, come on. Is there something in here? Come on. Nothing's happened. The bone cruncher isn't firing up. Okay. Hmm. E card, e card. See a key card in here. The first aid box has been adjusted to hide a security card reader. But what's it for? And more important, where can I get the card to use on it? Yeah, that is the question. <laughs> Can 
Maybe something moving in here. Hmm. I was hoping maybe one of them would have dropped something. On the floor or something, but there seems to be nothing here. I don't really understand why they opened this room then. Hmm. What? No way <laughs> am I doing that. Are you sure? What do we do with the salami? That is the question. Maybe we will need it later. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not about to sit in that chair. Hmm. Mm. There's nothing in there. I don't really understand why they opened that door. Yeah, because there really isn't anything. Hmm. can get up in from here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Can I take this? Oh, I can take the keys again. Put the keys back in the bone cruncher. Using that won't work. Okay. There's three keys, right? It's a small bunch of safety keys. Hoping maybe we could get up here. This one. No. 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 it anywhere mm. okay so well, we need something in there I've got no reason to try that hmm There's something in here that we can... It's just a chair. 
Yeah. I'm not about to sit in that chair. Hmm. Hmm. I've got no reason to try that. Hmm. Where could it be? The door is locked shut, but the handle is cold, so it hasn't been used. Okay. The door's blocked by all that wood. All that wood. Mm, nothing in here. Yeah, I don't know if we have to use the cruncher for something. See anything in here? What the hell? I think we need more of that. What is this? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> There is the guy. This must be Tony. Looks like it's going to be another good year for the Martino Vintage. Well, maybe Tony has some. Yeah, hard. I really don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Uh, <laughs> yes! A key card. Nice! We did boys, we did it. Boys and girls, we did it. Choose it there. Ooh. Thank heavens for secret doorways. Secret doorway, secret doorway, secret doorway. Okay. There's there. Sorry about that. Almost dropped my phone. <laughs> that went well. Come on, man. Even in the secret office, they lock the drawers. They're either very paranoid, or these drawers are fake fronts. Maybe. I don't know. The cabinet's locked and secured so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Hmm, mm, that won't work here. The drawers are locked. No point in trying to open them. What about this? <gasps> There's something in there. What was? Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Terrific. A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. Mm -hmm. Nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Yeah. A silk handkerchief. Obviously Italian. No, I don't think these are gonna work. That's not such a good idea. Hmm. I pushed this one. Oh, it's the cabinet where finger stashed Anna Maria's manuscript. Secure being the operative word. I've never seen so many locks. How am I going to get into it? 
Can we just push it? No way am I gonna get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Hmm, that won't work here. I was hoping it's that we could maybe. No way am I gonna get into that cabinet with my bare hands. We could push it through this one. Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. I bet it could tear cars apart. Mm, this one? No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Yes, so do we need to check out what I is... I can see out over the meatpacking company. Can't say I feel that factory boss gene kicking in, though. <laughs> Not the best view in the world, but hey, whatever. Hmm. So we got here, but... What can we do here, because... No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Oh, now it is. The secure cabinet's wheels are rusted and seized up. Nothing a bit of oil or grease won't fix. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Oh, do we have to have used the honey handkerchief for them? Please think. Maybe. Come on. Go to the crease. <laughs> go, 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 go. Come on. Here we go. In out we go. Come on. Do that. Please. And get you to do this. Yes. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out. <laughs> nice. Now, I was thinking, yeah, maybe we need to. Should I put it on already? So. I put the keys back in the bone cruncher. Let's save here <laughs> before we do anything stupid. <laughs> so we fail this and we don't have to do everything again. Yeah. Drawers are locked. No, no point trying to open them. Got him. Now, crazy thing in there. Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. Maybe. Hmm. There. That <laughs> should do it. The wheels might move a little now. Yeah. Push. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. Pushing it or something, yeah. Just need to try to remember to use them. What is it? Right mouse click, yeah, more often to the items. 
Take the manuscript. Underneath the MP3 player is Anna Maria's manuscript. Let's take it. An MP player. It's the real thing, MP3. all right. 14th century. The question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. Yep. No. Maybe. I need somewhere much more salubrious. <laughs> Andre? Hey, Anna Maria, look. George, you found it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All part of the service. <laughs> now, let's see just what we've got here. Hmm, what do we have here? The resembler thing again. Uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the code of arms, Ladimport, Castle, the hill. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. What about the hell? The fires of hell are consuming the city. Mm. An angel? Do you think this angel's important? Perhaps the manuscript will give us a clue. Maybe. And there is a uh, night slaying uh, dragon. Like St. George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. Me. See how the fortified city has minarets? It looks eastern. Yeah. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he came from Turkey. Actually. Holy man. A worthy and devout looking man. Uh, uh, it's an idol? Hey, I recognize this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. Yeah. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. Hmm, coat of arms. Four knights with shields. The fourth coat of arms is hidden. Latin it says, below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel, for he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Your Latin's good. Thank you. It was kind of geeky <laughs> at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. <laughs> so, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was and where his fortress is. Yeah, and sure. then find a way to get below it. Yep. But which fortress? That's part one. It says, the first, find the, the knight who shares, shares the horse and grasp the stone, stone to open the way. way. Maybe the first refers to the path that the righteous must take to reach the angel. Maybe. That makes sense. So we should understand the clue once we arrive at the right place. Yep. What about Latin part two? It says, the second, address the arms upon the shields. And close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Mm, sure. Let him barf. It Three. Says, the third. Follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress were heated fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as grand preceptor, he was received. To the temple at Vilnove, where he was appointed Grand Master of the Order, before journeying to the <laughs> island where he holds his court. Oh, there is. Hmm. There's the angel, so there's the knight there. Let's look at the It's an eastern looking city. Well, there was a holy man and king. Deformed holy man gazes over the seas. Mm. Now that's a king who really loves himself. <laughs> Lord Elise, in some pattern. 
Um, what about the... Uh, I know. The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took Probably. care the treasure would be safe. Mm -hmm. symbol. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Oh, I don't know. It says, the last, to see the light turn mm -hmm. from holy sign to face it's the great fortress of the empire of the east, east, the seat of the holy church in the west, the learned Coptic city to the south. Okay. Turn from holy sign to face, from where? Jerusalem? No idea. Yeah. I think we did. Check all of them. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. Mm -hmm. Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets are too dangerous. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre hey, Lovino Society of Antiquarian <laughs> Knowledge, but I was locked out. <laughs> Didn't you say that Virgil had hacking skills? Oh yeah, yeah we have. He's pretty angry right we now. We have them and then get charming. Yeah, yeah. Now let's save. So there, yeah. We have the MP3 player for him, so that should help, right? Yeah. Hmm. Virgil, I know nothing can replace your MP3 player, but I thought this might ease the loss. Well, what do you know? Same model. Uh, you steal it? No. No, certainly not. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Exactly, so you stole it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't replace the music, though, does it? Ah, <laughs> heck. I got it all on CD at home anyway. <laughs> Thanks, George. Hey. Hey, Virgil. You got five minutes? Sure, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how's Anna Maria been holding up? Oh, don't worry about her, man. I talked her into a nice, cool place. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, she's been through a lot, George. She needed a shoulder <laughs> to lean on. <laughs> uh huh. And you just happen to have one available, huh? You know me, George. Yep, I do. Yep, I do. Mafia guy. So, what happened after we barricaded ourselves in? First they broke into your office, then they searched the whole place, then they smashed everything up. Mm -hmm. I bet you showed them a few moves though, hey Virgil? Are you <laughs> kidding? I was under the <laughs> desk, man. Oh, well so what did they do then? Busted my MP3 player and left. Really? Oh, that's some story. <laughs> What's so funny, man? <laughs> well, you, under a desk, Virgil. I mean... I wish I'd seen that. You want to keep me as your friend? You better leave it, George. Mm, pity. Virgil, I need to get online to do some research. So go online. What's stopping you? Uh, the site I need blackballed me after Glastonbury. <laughs> Locked me out. Take it from me, George. And I've been in prison. Ain't no such thing as locked out. <laughs> now, where's that little gadget? I know it's here somewhere. There you go, George. This should be useful. Thank you. What is it? It's a flashcard with a few little features of my own design. Nice. Just slip it into your PDA and ride that internet. Nice, George. Thank you. Mm, did we put it on there already? Yeah, it seems here. Yeah. yeah, PDA. Lebanon's private server. Connect with the device. Access. Or won't hack connection yet. Right, George. This is my homemade hacking system. Hmm? The emphasis on homemade, know what I mean? Okay. I'll show you how to use it by hacking into a computer owned by an old friend of mine. Okay. This is you, symbolized by your PDA. Yeah. This is your destination, the okay. database you're attempting to hack. What you gotta do is connect your data stream to the target computer without being spotted or stopped. 
Yeah. See here, my friend lives on the other side of the state. This mountain range is in the way, so we gotta go around it. If we're gonna hack into the database, we're gonna have to pass through these points, or root nodes. They disguise the data stream from your PDA, so you don't get found out. To manipulate the data stream, you gotta use routers and refractors. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're utilizing other less secure systems in the area. Okay. You're pretty limited to what the device can find at the time, but there's normally enough to do the job. This one acts like a mirror. It'll deflect the beam at 90 degree angles. Nice this one refracts your beam at 45 degree angles. These okay. are splitters. They can split a beam at either 45 or 180 degree angles. Okay. As the target device is searching for one data stream, you'll need to converge the data streams back into one. You do this using a splitter, but in reverse. But if you're using a splitter in one direction, you can't use it in the other. Okay. These points are the bad boys. They're nodes which detect what you're up to and stop your hacking. You gotta be one step ahead of these fellas. Accidentally root your data stream into one of these, and your connections bust open. I recommend you plan your route before you start placing nodes all over the place. So, watch me complete this puzzle. Mm hmm. Okay, that one. There, yeah. That one in there. Okay. Then yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. Now let's see oh, what okay. my friend has in his database. <laughs> oh, no. oh boy, we didn't want to see that. He is yeah, let's hope we can do with those. Yeah. Okay, George, your turn. Okay. Okay, so we need to get where there. Yeah. Okay, no. Hmm. Nope. Oh yeah, we need to get them there, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so no. Mm. Yeah, I think we need.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. God damn it. Well, okay, so we need to put it somewhere there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I know. No, I know. No, I oh, know. No, I don't know. Oh no. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't think that one. <laughs> the hand before Y took it. Oh, yeah. Mm. So these are the same ones, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There we go. Woohoo! The yeah, that base has been downloaded to the PD. The mobile base, telephone company, mortgages, insurance, stationery, etc. As soon as someone. I got a memory waiting in my office, straight to the business she tells me about. Okay, okay. Let's translate it. Then just not raise machine. The link with Baphomet mm -hmm. proves that there's some kind of Templar connection here. No Templars, yeah. The Templars really were victims of betrayal and greed. Philippe the Fourth. I wonder, mm -hmm. did you pay for your sins? Great secrets. The Even by medieval standards, Philip the Fourth was a ruthless, vain dictator. His puppet Clement the Fifth was no better. Okay, and continue, Clement. Clement the Fifth was just a puppet of the king. Did you know popes used huh? to be regularly attacked by <laughs> mobs in those days? Huh. Can't say I'm surprised. As Napoleon said, history is written by the victors. You know what? I think that the holy man on the right of the manuscript could be Clement V. Maybe. He was Pope of Avignon and Philip's crony. But he can't be the true patriarch referred to in the manuscript. So no, no. we just need to work out who is the true patriarch. Yeah. Uh, my Templars. Uh, was, was there something in here? It was continued. Jacques de Lemon. Jacques de Molay was cynically betrayed by Philippe the Fourth of France. No. Philippe the Fourth seek Philip Blurs, okay. Knights Hospital here. Yeah. War and anything else in here. No, in there. What about Philippe? Continued. What about the Clement? No. Shock the moon. Uh, 
secret. So, Clement the Fifth, certainly not the true patriarch. Mm -hmm. That king is. It depicts Philippe the Fourth of France. Yeah. If Clement the Fifth is not the true patriarch, and Saint George, who came from Turkey, is fighting a dragon below the city of a holy man, who is the true patriarch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then the city must be Istanbul, which is was known Constantin as Constantinople in medieval times. Constantinople and the must be a reference to the old citadel Constantinople. Probably. George, that's amazing. Does it still exist? I don't know, but I bet someone in Istanbul would. Mm -hmm. George, you are brilliant. Thank you so much for helping me. No worries. Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> I'd never turn down the chance to search for Templar treasure. True. True. Okay, so that was that. I think we are gonna uh, save here and we are gonna continue on the next one. But thanks for everybody who came to watch this video. And if you liked it, give it a like and leave a comment. And if you really liked it, give my channel a sub and see you next time. Bye bye.